So some basics about the TradingView crypto screener. So from the home page, you just uh, hover over screeners and then click crypto screener. So if you haven't used a crypto screener before, um, the main thing you're going to have to pay attention to is that there are a lot of crypto exchanges. So um, as you probably already know, crypto is not like the stock market where there's just like the New York Stock Exchange or um, things like that. Instead, there's many different exchanges that have the same coins. So the thing you're going to want to pay attention to is uh, the exchange here, because normally you just want to look at um, coins from the exchange you're using. Because if you search um, for a uh, coin across all the exchanges, you're going to get a ton of results. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's reset this. So if we go in here and look at uh, Cardano, um, we're going to get results from all kinds of different exchanges. Um, it doesn't uh, actually show the exchange uh, in the results here, but you can see that it has a whole bunch of different um, Cardano B uh, Bitcoin pairs. Um, so the reason for this is that these are for different exchanges. Um, so it's going to be real annoying if you don't uh, select a specific exchange. So you can do that by um, making sure that the exchange that you want. So let's say you're um, using KuCoin. You would check, always make sure that's checked so that you only get results from that exchange. So beyond that, there's a whole bunch of um, different indicators and uh, filters you can apply. Um, way too many to go into detail in a video like this. But the thing to know is that there's three different categories. Uh, descriptive, which is things like the exchange, the market cap, the trade volume. So if you wanted to only search for uh, coins that had a really high trade volume, like Bitcoin, the, um, the top coins, stuff like that, you can do that. Or if you wanted to search for the ones that are lightly traded, you could um, do that. Um, so basic stuff like that. Uh, fundamental, there's only a few options here. Um, if you use the fundamental tab uh, for searching for stocks, there's more options. Um, this isn't one that really applies as much to Bitcoin, but there's a few here like total coins in circulation and stuff like that. Um, and then technical is what a lot of people are most interested in, where you can do things like uh, filter by the percent gain within the last day and uh, various other technical indicators that have to do with the stock's current performance. So it's real straightforward to use. You just um, put, up, put your input here for a different field. Um, so in this case, nothing's really going up today, but um, so that's not working. But if you could, you could do like negative five, it would show something. Um, so you just play around with this until you get the uh, the results you're looking for. Normally with a screener, you're trying to get it down to a, a set of results that's relatively small. Um, so if you're getting a hundred different coins um, for your your search, you want to narrow down the criteria um, because the purpose of a screener is that you then don't have to look at as many coins. So you want to get it down to maybe 20 or between 20 and 50 results usually. Any more than that, you're probably not um, filtering down enough.